Hello Aries, welcome back to my channel y'all. It's so good to have you back. I am so happy to have you guys here. How are you feeling my loves? So I do want to go ahead and say thank you so much for all of you for being here on my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. And I do offer mediumship based readings, you guys. Those are priced down below. Also, I do have a Reiki healing giveaway session going on right now. If you guys want to be a part of that, I would love it. So we are here for your January 15th through the 31st love forecast. Okay, so I decided we're just going to do some love for the end of the month. And let me know how you guys are feeling. If you guys are feeling generous and would like to donate to my channel, I do have all that information down below. I have my pay, uh, my PayPal, my Cash App, I have my Indie Deck wish list, and I have my Amazon wish list. So yes, let's see what's happening with you in love, Aries. Let's see what's going on, my loves. January 15th, we are entering Aquarius season. So, you know, we have a lot of Uranian energy, a lot of influence, of standing out, of freedom, humanity, humanitarian energy. So a lot of you, I am picking up um, Aries. There's an element of something. There's a void here, okay, in love as we move into the end of the month. Aries in love, please. First card, general theme. I'm having a vision of a very big black Whole, okay, this is a representation of something missing in your heart. So if you have been single Aries, a lot of you guys are feeling this very deeply at the end of the month. Okay, there's a deep nostalgia. There's a deep feeling here of wanting to reconnect with your roots. And a lot of you are, um, there's a connection here to the water, excuse me, the water element. There is a connection here to cleansing, to purifying a lot of your energies in love. So most recently, there has been an enormous shift in love. I am getting, um, it's almost like a tower moment, you guys. Something has been, something kind of removed your stability or removed your peace. So we do have the Eight of Cups as your main theme for love, Aries. There's a lot of nostalgia. It's like you're walking away from something that once was. There's one cup here, okay? We do have, it's interesting because the Eight of Cups here is a representation of yearning and searching for something else. Some of you have just moved through a massive breakup. There's an emptiness here. Someone here is feeling empty. If you guys were dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person has walked away or there has been a disruption in your connection. There's a lot of pain here. But I want you to remember that in love, the water element is present. And we do have the cups. So this is about cleansing your emotional past. You could also be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And water is, you know, it always reminds me of, you know, when there's turbulence in the water, right? When there's turbulence in the river, water can either crash against the waves or it can flow around it. A lot of you guys are learning how to flow with your heart. There's an awakening here of your heart. If you have been avoidant, you can no longer hide how you're feeling. It's like a volcanic moment for you, Aries. If you guys have not been there, there's, there's a disconnection happening with an air sign and my guides are saying divine intervention. This is not for you. Something here is being removed so you can ascend, so you can walk towards the sun. The sun is rising for you, Aries. You have a new dawn here. Aries in love, the 15th through the 31st. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Knight of Cups in reverse. 
something is, is becoming more real for you, okay? Maybe you guys were, there's someone here who's becoming more sober about love, about the situation that's been back and forth in love. I am getting a lot of uh, obsession over making something work. And some of you guys are finally coming to the realization that this isn't working or it's not for you, okay? We have a destruction of your stability, a destruction of your home. So, you know, in matters of love, some of you guys, there's some empty promises here, okay? Moving forward, there's someone here who is not going to fulfill their contract with you. If you are dealing with an air sign, I'm having a vision that they have a contract with a different person here. They have a contract here with another um, fire sign or an earth sign, and they are choosing someone else. So there's an empty promise here, and you guys are starting to feel it. I, I'm getting Aries, you're, you're becoming more sober about what is real and what isn't, and you're becoming more aware of the reality of, are we going to make this real or are we not? I'm getting some frustration, yeah? Be aware of manipulative behavior, you guys. Some heavy Gemini energy, Mercury is present here. Don't let the wool cover your eyes. It's time to really see, Aries, the end of the month. Someone here is not playing fair. Aries in love, January 15th through the 31st. I'm having a vision of a growing apple tree, so there's a lot of temptation around your fruition. This person may have some kind of control over your money, or they're using this, you know, as a way to manipulate. You're, you're dealing with someone who's incredibly sneaky, Third-party activity. Wow. There's a lot of deception in your environment in love areas at the end of the month, but the positive aspect of this, I have to tell you, you guys have been back and forth with a karmic partner for so long. There's been so much of this, let's make it work, we can make it work, and finally you're realizing, you know what, I don't want to make this work anymore. You're finally coming to the realization, and you're going to have victory. You're going to have victory. You know why? Because Aries, you have, some of you are just, there's some shady, there's some shady behavior here. Some of you guys may be traveling at the end of the month or you travel for work and you're going to realize, I'm, I'm hearing, you're hearing news of betrayal. This is going to happen in order for you guys to succeed. Someone in here, you know, someone here is standing out. If you are the Aries, you know, there is someone here about, there's a lot of um, back and forth secret affairs. You're going to make a decision. Someone here is making a decision about a third party. Especially if you're dealing with the Leo, a lot of you guys are choosing someone who has fame or you're choosing someone who's going to bring you victory. Maybe this person has more money. Maybe they have more stability. And I am getting, you know, is it too late? kind of like that Sabrina Claudio song, Too Much Too Late. Someone here has made a decision, okay? There's regrets, there's pain, there's a lot of, I'm so sorry. Someone here is still holding on to resentment. I'm getting a lot of phone calls. I'm having a vision of phone calls here, records of phone calls. Someone here is being challenged. I'm getting a lot of confrontation. It's like enough is enough. The cup is filled. So there is a shadow energy covering the sun for you. This is about really learning about your karma and your karmic contracts and love, Aries, okay? So this may feel very painful, but I want you to know that at the end of this, you're going to really rise. Okay, you're going to succeed. This is more about you winning at the end because a lot of you guys have put, yes, there's new love because you've put your heart on the line with this person and you've neglected other options. And guess what? You're going to let new love awaken. Some of you may not be ready. Some of you are ready. And I'm hearing, I'm putting it on the line for you. I'm putting my heart on the line for you. So some of you are dealing with somebody who is going to actively try to get out of the relationship to be with you or vice versa. They're putting it out on the line.
there's just a decision to be made, okay? I'm getting, you know, there's there's an energy here of a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but there's just a, like a lot of back and forth. Aries, what's happening in love for you? I'm getting, um, you're opening the door to something else here. Some of you guys, listen, there's a blind offer coming in. Someone is going to offer you something at the drop of the hat. They're not even going to think about it. It's more of like, I want to be with you. Let's start something. And, and no one here is thinking about the consequences is what I'm hearing. It's going to be like, let's get with it. This person is in the, the industry of beauty or they're doing something aesthetic. Okay. But some of you see an opportunity here or this person sees an opportunity to grow with you. So I'm getting, wow, you guys, I'm getting not being clear, but I'm going to risk it for you. I'm going to risk it all for you. Someone here is very sure. Someone here is very sure about this love, but it feels more like it's a passionate love because it's been so secretive. There's been a lot of uh, secret communication or there's been a lot of spying, okay? Maybe um, uh, talking to you from a different account or vice versa. Someone here has been talking to this person um, through a secret and private account, and there's been a lot of like passion and wanting to get out of a current relationship. I'm getting high status here. Um, maybe both of you guys have a high position, so there's a lot of hush, hush, you know, hush, hush, a lot of secret energy. Someone here is going to make a decision, risking it, Wow. Okay, my loves, I love you. This is intense. Let's get one more. So what is your advice for love for the end of the month? Okay. So if you guys have been in a connection that has been a little bit, um, if there's been infidelity here for Aries, okay, um, be aware of manipulative behavior because someone here is going to show off. There's a lot of, you know, there's an energy here of I'm risking it all for you, but there's some manipulation behind that. So I'm hearing check twice, check that resume because it may not be all that once you get in it. Okay. Choose your morality, your standard over lust. Do not get pulled in. Do not get pulled in by the sexual energy. Your advice here is to remain calm and to really plan this situation in love. Do not just take whatever washes ashore because this person, although there's going to be a show or vice versa, you know, someone's coming in with the show. There's a lot of, of energy pulling through at the end of the month. Your guides are saying, take your time to plan, right? The more cautious, the less you're going to get hurt. You have to ground. I'm hearing ground thyself. 